guys. I wanted to talk about uh, the Milani baked blushes. I have some here. Um, you can get these at the drugstore. I believe they're about eight to ten dollars each, which is kind of pricey to me for a drugstore blush, but. These have become a very popular item to review on YouTube, and I wanted to kind of give my two cents. Um, they've always made, not always, they've been making some of the shimmery baked blushes, and they kind of have like a marbled look, um, similar to maybe MAC Soft and Gentle. You can see it's like baked. I'll try to catch the light a little and give you a little bit of a, can you see the shimmer? Um, they, they've had these for a long time, but they came out with recently the matte ones that don't have the shimmer, so that was pretty exciting. So I want to talk about the colors that I have and um, the benefit. This one has no shimmer. This is a matte one. Okay, so um, some of us don't want to wear a shimmery blush because, you know, we're going to put highlighter, like, on the top of our cheekbones anyway. I use a contour, uh, like a bronzer that's a matte color. And then I use a matte blush a lot of the time. But then I use a highlighter on the top of my cheek. So um, I like playing with different makeup and different textures and different finishes. So I wasn't against trying the um, shimmery blushes. And I think they are really pretty. I just don't tend to wear a lot of highlighter when I wear these. Okay, so this one is the first one. This is called Coralina. And it is a shimmery blush. And I just, I can see the marble. It's like a pretty coral peachy pink and if I turn it just right do you see how the glitter specks hit um, and they all come in this cool little compact which if you open it, it's just the blush and then when you open it there's another brush inside which is pretty cool it's a little tiny brush now I don't know who would use this it's flat so I guess you could do that I don't know um, but this is was it Coralista Coralina, sorry, benefits is Coralista. This is Coralina, and I'm I'm able to get quite a bit of payoff and high pigmentation. You can see the brush. I mean, it's pretty good. So I'm not gonna put them all on for you, but I'll do two of them since I have two cheeks. What do you know? All right, so this is Coralina. It's a pretty corally pink, and you can really get a lot of color payoff with this. So um, if that's what you're looking for from a drugstore, that's great. The next one that's also shimmery brush, this is called Red Vino, uh, number nine. The first one was Coralina number eight. This is Red Vino, so it's darker. It's also the baked look, and it's got that shimmery tint to it. And if you put the two next to each other, okay, I will say before I go on, these are so hard to open. You have, like, this little thing where you're supposed to put your fingers in them and, like, pull. I sometimes cannot get it open. Like, I've had a lot of problems. So, uh, I'm not sure if that's just me or maybe I got some, like, defective ones. But, okay. So, this is the first one, Coralina. And you can see that red vino next to it is, like, substantially darker. All right. So, that one is pretty dark. Like, I'll go ahead and show you. When I put that one on, I... I have to be super careful. You see how dark that is? I'll put it on next to the Coralina. See, I'm trying right now to get it back open since I just closed it. And I can't even get that open. Okay, forget it. We're not doing that. See? Bad product, Milani. I like the product. If you could just put a little easier packaging. Now I'm trying a different one. This is shade number two, Rose Doro, which is rose gold, I think. And yet again... I can't even open them. Now, oh, there it goes. Maybe there's like a special touch to it that I just don't have. So Rose Doro, that's what it looks like. It's more of a golden pinkish, I don't know how to explain it. I would say this is kind of similar to MAC Soft and Gentle uh, Mineralized Skin Finish, but it's not exactly the same. I'm going to put that one on next to the previous one, which was the Vino, Red Vino. So see how dark that red vino is? And this one's also very shimmery. You can see it in the... Okay. The next one I'm going to show you is the last shimmery one. And this one is called uh, shade number five, Luminoso. And this one you could actually get away with using it as a highlighter. It's a little bit lighter than the previous ones. So I'm able to wear it. Um, now this one can come off a little bit 
little bit chalky almost. I think it's just because it's super pale. See how pale that is? Okay, so it's pretty pale, but it does look really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. This is just a regular blush brush. So. Oh, it's pretty nice, huh? All right, next one, and the last one I'm going to show you is the Milani Baked Blush, and this one is a matte one. This is Bella Rosa. Boy, is this hot pink. It is super duper pigmented. It's like a really cool texture. I don't know if you can see that. Like, when I put my finger in it, it's like, like really creamy. So I'm going to put that next to the ones that I just did. Holy cow, is that pigmented. Like, whoa. Right? Yeah. So you have to be super light-handed with these. Like, very careful. Um, because otherwise, you're going to end up looking like a clown. Um, the one that I did on this cheek is a little bit much. And I find that I have to put a lot more um, makeup on than I normally would when I'm going on camera. But this is, like, intense. Okay. So I did get that first one that I did, which was the Coralina. I did get that one open. So I will go through the colors one more time and sum it all up for you. The first one is shade number eight, Coralina. And that's right here. Really pretty um, peachy coral. The second one is shade number nine, Red Vino. More of a red. And you can see the shimmer. It really... All right, next one is Rose Doro, which is more of a rose gold. Next one is Luminoso, which is lighter, more of a peach, but it's very light. And the last one is the matte color, number 11, Bella Rosa. That's a very hot pink matte color. Um, I would say that the packaging could use some improvement, but the pigmentation and the texture of these is great. Um, I would love to see them come out with more matte shades. They do have more than just the one. But this one was just different than any of the other ones I had in my collection. So I wanted to try that one. Um, they had like a medium pink and a normal pink. And I was like, meh. Yeah, I have some like that. Like, I have my MAC blushes. Like, I don't need to buy more of these standard pinks. But if you're going to give me something like Red Vino, yeah, I got to try it, right? Or a hot, hot, hot pink. I'm totally in. Let's give it a shot. So anyway, I hope that helped. Don't forget that you can always use your CVS coupons. If you shop at CVS a lot and you have a membership card, they also give you like $1 um, CVS extra care bucks and like 25% off coupons occasionally. Plus watching the ads for when they have a certain cosmetic brand like on sale, like they'll have all L'Oreal and Revlon are buy one, get one 50% off. So if you're going to buy something, you know, check the ads first, see which store has that kind of special because it does happen. Like, I keep an eye out on the grocery stores, too, because they don't specialize in makeup, and they may not have a wide selection, but they will have some. All right, guys, I hope that helps. If you have any questions or have any trouble finding the Milani Baked Blush, just check their website or comment below. Thanks. Bye.